Okay, let me talk about teacher skills for the 21st century. And we, when we are talking about didactic skills in digital age, I have immediately one question. Which are the required skills to be a good teacher in the digital age? If we think about two decades ago, it will enough to be an expert in one subject to be a good teacher. But one decade ago, in addition to be an expert in a specific subject, it was necessary to have pedagogical and didactic skills as well. And these skills can be mentioned as know how to prepare and present contents in multimedia format, tutoring, in presence and online, formative continuous assessment, know how to use a LMS, know how to use a virtual classroom if we are working at distance, and some other digital skills. But teacher skills in digital age, it is much more. It is some kind of blended teaching, which means that if you are teaching in a presence course, you should know a lot of techniques, like using computers, internet, some applications, some digital applications, and so on. But if you are teaching at distance, you should know as well some kind of presence methods and techniques. This is blended teaching. And this is what we need today. Blended teaching is something that you should know how to teach with new methodologies and ICT tools. To teach how to learn, uh, which is the methodology we know totally today and it's important to teach to our students to make better learners. Teach how to manage large quantities of information, which is really important as well. And you have all of this information available in our website. Just follow the link and you will find a lot of useful contents in video format and printable as well. But the skills to teach in digital age for the 21st century, there are a lot of them and very important. We have identified about 15 necessary digital skills. Some are absolutely necessary and some other are recommended. Let's have a look about them. The main aspects are related with general aspect skills and they are source of information, research, communication, collaborative work, publishing contents and works from your work done, organize images and videos. Everything is multimedia today, social network and manage communities. Your location information, maps, organization of trips and so on source of applications and utilities. Online agenda, and if you want to know a little bit more about each or one of these topics. About general aspects, we know about basics how to use internet, basics about communicate, using your mail, shorten URL and automatic translations, and many other. Google Cultural Institute is important information available, uh, basics about security, ethics and internet, basics about installing and uninstalling applications, screen capture and copy images from internet, and basics to record audio and video. More about source of information and research. Teachers should know how to browse in search in the internet, make online surveys and inquiries. It is very important and very easy, extremely easy, but it is necessary to know how to make it. Communication and collaborative work. 
Distance communication in audio and video. Time zone converters. It is important because we have people from all over the world. Measuring your one width. Organizing meetings and synchronize agendas with your mates. Uh, remote collaborative work, share documents directly or in cloud environment. It is absolutely necessary digital skills to publish contents and works. Make your website and publish your documents, your contents, your experience. Today it is very easy. You have a lot of tools available. Make your blog to publish all. Create your ebooks. Create a DVD if necessary and publish your PPT presentations. As well, organize images in videos. This is a must today. Basics about capturing, organize images, photos or videos. Synchronize all your equipment and have all in one using cloud environment. Edit your photos and videos for publishing. Publish your photos, your videos, your contents in your video channel. But more than that, social network and manage your communities. Creating and manage your communities. Use your social networks to communicate, to publish things, to inform your mates or your students. But Google Chrome applications and some other, like Apple Store, Windows Marketplace, are very useful, very important, and most of them free, just free. And many people doesn't know even that they exist and they can be used and can be extremely useful. Geo-tracking and location information, maps in internet and organizing your trips. Today we are all with that and all over the world. Trips, there are a lot of them available on Google Maps and other applications. More, organize your agenda. It is extremely important to optimize and synchronize your agenda with all the people you are involved with. Other recommended digital skills. Create conceptual maps. Make a world cloud. Children digital games. Google Classroom. Make your own pedagogical games. Mobile applications for pedagogical use. Virtual reality. Google for education. YouTube education. How to generate YouTube subtitles in all languages. Plagiarism control. Facebook webcast. YouTube webcast. About online survey. In order to evaluate the importance of these skills, we have made a survey to have the opinion of academics, users, and many other professionals uh, all over the world. Let us have a look about the conclusions obtained. This survey about digital skills to teach in the 21st century was covered by 50 topics. But the most important and relevant aspects were the profile of the participants. More than 60% of the participants were European teachers in universities. And they were as well 8% from Russia and 9.2% uh, from Latin America and from other countries. But as well we had a very large solid base of information like university teachers, trainers and secondary level teachers which is about 80% of them. More than 52% they have a solid experience and with more than 20 years and 33% between 10 and 20 years of experience which is quite expressive and can give a very solid information.
we have divided each topic and the research in five levels of importance. Very low, low, interesting, high and very high. And this is what we are going to see the results. And the results are 15 of the topics, they were very high. 19 of the topics, they were classified as high, which means that more than 80% they are in the fourth and in the fifth degree. And 13 of the topics were recommended topics. And the other were mandatory and very recommended. With very low interest, only three topics from all the those 15 we have in our analysis. Very high topics are like basics about communicate, using your emails, basics about security, basics about installing and, co and correcting, screen capture, basics to record audio, browse and search in internet. All high topics are mandatory. It is absolutely necessary that the teachers should know how to use them in the 21st century. But we have more topics. They are with a very high interest, which we have classified as double plus, like automatic translations, downloading music for backgrounds, Google Hangout, cloud environment, in several aspects like Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox or other. It is important that we have this technology available today, but we need more, like transfer large files, making a website, making your blog, publishing your documents, geopositioning like Google Earth, and many others. They are mandatory, and I should say as well, they are absolutely necessary. They are not difficult to use and they are important that we know to use them. Other between I and very I, like knowing how to create and shorten URLs, it's quite important. But basic about hardware, time zone converter, if we are making activities with our colleagues in other different time zones, it's necessary. Creating an ebook using TeamViewer, which is some kind of screen sharing collaboration, and so on and so on. We have several other alternatives for screen sharing. These are recommended. They are not so important as those one two we have pointed out before, but they are as well important like digital games for children and so on. Finally, we had three topics measuring your bandwidth. It is necessary, although it is not reported as important or recommended in the survey, but it is absolutely important as well. Creating DVDs, it was important a few years ago. Today, uh, we have other alternatives like cloud environment and things like that. Uh, these are the most important topics that we have uh, found as the results of our survey. So we have covered all other topics like this. For all the items under research, we have used the same criteria and the same classification of, of, of them are based on the difference of selections that we have used before. After finishing this survey research and the conclusions, we have still more steps to finish um, completely this project. Uh, the first step is based on organized results. Uh, we are going to interview other experts from the most relevant universities in Europe, the United States, Russia, and so on. The second step will be identify recommended tools to use to report digital skills that are more relevant and absolutely mandatory. 
the third step is important to offer this for the scientific community of teachers all over. Another aspect in preparing is preparing video tutorials and text tutorials about each of one of the topics that we have evaluated and identified. Finally, publishing obtained results in text and video with automatic translation into all languages to be available for all scientific community. And that's all. Suggested questions to debate. Teacher skills for the 21st century are pedagogic and didactic or ICT or digital skills. In your opinion, what is the difference between ICT and digital skills? In your opinion, is there any topics that should be downgraded or upgraded related to the results of our survey? Which one you suggest? What do you think about publishing the results of our research with automatic translation in text and videos? Can you give us your personal opinion and suggestions about the importance of the teacher's digital skills for the quality of the teaching process? Have you any other suggestion to be integrated in our research about this subject? Please use the community of the School of the Future to put your questions and prepare our debates. The link is available there. Go there and make your questions. Thank you very much for your attention.